Hey guys, it's Rick at Elijah Tooling. This is going to take longer than two minutes, so I'm not going to do that whole thing. We had a request recently for somebody who asked us, what do you use all those fasteners for? What is the point of having all these different fasteners? So I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible, but I'm going to kind of give you some ideas as to why you might use a particular fastener. I'm going to start today with this one because this, we call this the classic fastener and it is the most sold product that we have. I also want you to notice that sometimes you're going to have some coloration to your parts. So don't think that we're doing anything wrong. You can see that some of them have this uh, brownish coloration. Actually, that's a result of a secondary process. It's proprietary, um, so we don't disclose what it is. But it's not really a process in which the colors are going to come out the same every time. So I think about it like uh, maybe buying a leather coat. You know, it's a, a nice, high quality product, but sometimes it looks a little bit different from time to time. What do we use this for? Well, this fastener has a one inch outer body, a half inch thir uh, 13 stud that comes up into your part or whatever you're holding. And you can see that there are several fasteners here that have the same body. And that was our go goal when we made these was that we would have common fasteners. They would fit inside this hole size. So you can see right here that we have a common, these two are common, and this one is common with several of the fasteners. So this is one of the reasons why we have these different housing sizes. So for example, with the one and a quarter inch housing, we have a 5 8 stud and we have a half inch stud. In the one inch body, we have half inch stud and we have a 3 8 stud. And we also have some variations of half inch. So let's talk about what the classic, we call it the classic fastener is used for. It's used for just about everything. That's why we sell so many of these. People will use them for Aluminum, a lot of high-speed machining is done holding the parts with this, but it's also used with titanium and steels, and I've heard it to be used with just about any material. That half-inch uh, stud is very adequate for most applications, but when you've got an application where you need more holding force, then we want it to move to, say, the 5 8 and again you could have your fixture plate set up for 5 8 and you go oh well I don't really need that after all so you can swap it out with the half inch and th that's the same idea here as well so this fastener has a 5 16 hex in it which means it can develop a significantly greater torque than the one that has quarter inch so check out our website for the specs on that. I want to say that this is like 100 foot pounds and this is 45. So the bottom line is how much force you can hold with these fasteners or how much weight or whatever it is you're trying to hold is entirely dependent on the hex size. Now that's when we, talk, when we start talking about something like this. So this is the biggest thing we make. It's a 7 8 14 thread and it has a 3 8 hex in it and so with this big boy we think in terms of 30,000 pounds plus if you want to hold a building this is your man um, so let's go through so we got we talked about the classic then we have a modification of the classic which is the the Dash 121, it has basically just a shorter stick out. That's all it is. It's going to allow you to use a thinner plate size than you would with this one. And we have, of course, the premium fastener. We have a whole video on this particular fastener. It's similar to the classic, but you can already see it's got some changes to it. 
got a different number of holes in the front. It's also got a seal in the back of this and it's got the back of it looks differently too. So this is a premium uh, upgrade from this and then we have the shorter stick out for the 121 and then we have 3 8 so here's where you might consider hey I might want to use a smaller size if you're trying to save material you can get a little bit closer to your uh, to the tabbing when you're tabbing your picture frames and then of course we have this kind of small little guy he's gonna have the same holding force as this one they're both 3816 and they both use a 316 uh, hex so force wise these can hold the same thing but the, the thing that's nice about this fastener this is by the way this is an AAO7 body style um, the thing that's nice about this fastener is that you can make a much denser pattern with it. Uh, it. It can go in more places, in other words. Now, one thing about it is it doesn't have a lot of stick out, so I still think of it kind of more of a medium or light duty because uh, you're going to be holding, you know, something by just a few threads. Admittedly, I have heard of people actually running titanium parts with this, so uh, uh, cheers to them. Uh, but anyway, that's the way I think of that, that particular fastener, light, medium duty. Uh, 3 8 is always going to be like medium duty, the half inch heavier duty, and then your 5 8 and of course your 7 8 really heavy duty holding power. Now I do have another fastener here. It looks a lot like the classic. If you put them up here together, you may not be able to tell the difference, but the reality is that this is an all metric fastener. So it has a metric thread on the outside. It has a metric thread on the stud and it has a, a M6 hex wrench that it's driving with. So if you need a metric solution, then this is your this is your fastener It's called an ivb m12 um, by 1.75 that's the the uh, pitch on the threads what do we got left well we have the t-slot fasteners and they are very similar to the classic in that they have a half 13 uh, stud they have a quarter inch hex, but you probably, or you may have noticed when I pulled it up, it's a quarter turn. And this one as well, they're quarter turn fasteners. These are used in a M16 or an M18 slot. So this allows you to use the fastener directly without screwing it into a fixture plate. So that's what's cool about them. Holding power, medium to heavy holding power. So that's kind of the scope of our standardized or inventory stocked fasteners. Then I wanted to just take a second to talk about parts. We, we call them discontinued, but what it really means is that we don't stock them, but we make them. And so uh, I thought I'd just run these by you just in case you are that customer that we're going to be able to sell you know thousands of them to and then they'll move over to this category over here so um, for example this one is a hybrid we call it a hybrid because it has an english thread on the outside but a metric thread on the inside so this is an m12 by 1.75 and it has an m6 an m6 hex um, there's there's two of them that stand up like this and you can see that they've got this quite a lot more engagement than these other ones and so these two fasteners are very similar except for one of them has more engagement than the other so I have to stick it up like that for you to see but you can see that one is a 15 millimeter engagement and one is 20 millimeter engagement so these are the 071s and 081s they have the same one inch hex I mean one inch 12 outside thread but they're taller uh, we have a, a particular customer that loves those and uh, 
We love selling them to them. We love them using them. I believe they're used on skins, actually. But anyway, not human skins, aircraft skins. So let's talk about, this is another metric fastener, an M16 fastener. And it is, uh, again, it's, uh, it's in a, this is a all metric fastener as well. It has a metric outside body, M16. Again, discontinued, but the idea here is that we make these things uh, the only qualification that we have is that you got to buy a hundred of them if you want us to make one that we don't regularly stock. Here is a, um, a much bigger 5 8 and this particular fastener was created to go into T-slot fixtures. So that's interesting. Um, it, it, it was, uh, a, in essence, a direct connect to a plate from the T-slot fixture. Let's see, so this is the O31, and so it's very similar to the O21, except for this one has the 5 16 hex, so it creates more torque, like I said, but this has a quarter inch hex. So the O31 is 5 eighths, but with a quarter inch hex. And then we have, what do we got here? This is a, another hybrid in which we had a, um, a M6 stud, I'm sorry, M6 uh, hex with an M12 stud, but it has a one inch body on the outside, English metric. So very similar to this one, English metric, except for it's the same height as the classic fastener. And this, its part number is A02330. Dash 021. Then the last one that I want to show you is uh, constrained in a sense. It's a shorty. I think of it as a shorty, and it sits in a one inch plate. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention here is that these will go in a one and a quarter inch plate, and this will go in a one and a half inch plate. So, uh, but this is the only fastener that we have that goes into a one inch plate. It has a half 20 stud, so it's got more thread, and it has the one inch 12 outside thread. But here's the thing. We are very, in the very near future, we're gonna be redesigning this to make it a quarter turn product. So um, we'll be able to incorporate some of the new features that we have, quarter turn, some of the new features as far as materials and things like that that we changed here. Uh, for the fastener that goes into the one inch plate. So it's an AAO2 005 001, and it will be converted to a dash 021, will be its designator. So, anyway, that one gets sold a lot too. Uh, surprisingly, that's the funny thing about these discontinued products is that we tend to sell them or resell them. It's just that we don't have the quantities that we would like to see for a stocked item. I hope this has been informative for you. If you have any other questions, I am happy to answer them. Um, this was specifically a request that we received. If you have any requests for us, we would love to answer those and may, they might get on the video. Hey, until next time.